All right, Dan, thank you very much. It is 544. Let's get over to Michael Sager for some details on the coolest part of your week, Michael. Yeah, today temperatures will be the coolest that we see all week long, and they're not going to be that cool. Temperatures, though, will be heating up into the triple digits, probably starting tomorrow for some of us, and then we'll all start to join in as we go throughout the week with those triple digit temperatures. But uh, as we take a look at what we can expect here the next few days, our longest stretch of triple digits so far this summer with very little chance for rain as a ridge of high pressure builds overhead. We'll kind of be on the eastern edge of that ridge. That should allow our temperatures to heat up. I've got us into the low 100 starting tomorrow and pretty much as we go through the end of the weekend, it looks like that will likely continue into the weekend. The good news, humidity levels are not going to be outrageously high. It's going to feel a few degrees hotter than what the actual temperature is, but it won't be as bad as what we had a couple weeks ago. We had some of those heat index values 115 to 120. Remember Paul's Valley broke the Oklahoma Mesonet record for heat index of 126. I don't think we're going to see anything like that, but it is going to be a hot stretch. We're going to have to do what we can to stay cool and stay hydrated. Storm track is going to be well off to our north and west today and uh, also tomorrow and even as we go into the middle of the week. You can see the main severe threat is going to be well up into Nebraska, into the Dakotas tomorrow, into tomorrow night, and then it'll shift into parts of Illinois, Indiana as we head into Wednesday and Wednesday night. So we are well far away from that main storm track staying to our north with the jet stream up to the north and that ridge of high pressure dominating our weather, keeping very little chance for rain in the forecast. Maybe a sprinkle here or there for lucky as we head here a couple of mornings uh, throughout the week and maybe just a slight chance once we get into Saturday and Sunday. But we might see that chance come up maybe a little bit more once we get into uh, next week. Here's what it looks like right now downtown on the Wade's RV Weather Camera Network. Everything's looking good as you're heading out the door right now. Temperature wise 77 in Tulsa with a south wind at about 11 miles per hour. Yesterday we were 93 for the high and I think we'll go a little bit hotter than that today. Most of us mid to upper 90s for highs this afternoon. Overnight tonight into tomorrow morning we're going to drop back down into the 70s. A few clouds mixed in. This particular model is trying to squeeze out a couple showers tomorrow morning. I think it's probably overdoing that a bit. I do think though there will be some showers and storms in the Missouri tomorrow morning but will likely stay dry and then tomorrow afternoon upper 90s to low 100s across the region and here we go those triple digits once they build in they are going to hang around we'll see temperatures uh, in that 101 to 102 range all the way into early next week and we've got bookend 98s here on that 10 day forecast so eight of the next 10 days and those will be eight straight the way it's looking right now uh, of triple digit temperatures overnight lows will be quite warm as well Look forward to that. That looks great. That <laughs> looks so nice. Not even a drop of rain in there. Wow. Yeah, All and right. it, it is technically our hottest stretch. End of July and early August is our hottest time of year on average. Like if you break down the climatological average highs, 95, that's where we tend to peak. Again, it's you're not always average. You're up and down around that. Right. But uh, we are technically getting into our hottest time of the He's year. He's saying, don't be shocked. This you you knew this was coming. <laughs> Too bad. That's time for our top five. <laughs> five started with number five. 98s on either day or the side.